What you guys got another video on how to go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11 after 10 days. Now, if you've got a Windows 11 based system and you want to go back to Windows 10, then I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in this video. Now, if we look here, we're on a Windows 11 system. And if I go into settings here and we go to recovery inside the system tab here, let me just go down to the bottom here and go to recovery. You should see that in this case, go back has been grayed out. And this means that the time to roll back has expired. You can't roll back using the normal method because it has gone beyond 10 days. Now, if you use the reset PC, basically all this is going to do is reset the PC and reinstall Windows 11 again. So how do you go back to Windows 10? And will Windows 10 be still activated when you roll back if you are activated on Windows 11? We're going to be going through some of this in this video. So let's close off this box here. And what we're going to do is head over to Microsoft's website and we're going to download the Windows 10 media creation tool. So hit download and open up the actual tool itself. We can now discard this page and we should now see Windows 10 set up. It's just going to get a few things ready, so let's be patient and let it do its thing. And once this is done, it will give us some options to continue with the uh, install of Windows 10. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about this, so let's quickly accept the terms conditions. Now, there's two ways of going about it. We can either create a USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it and boot to it and reinstall Windows that way, which is probably the best and preferred way of doing it. Or you can do it the way I will show you here, which is probably going to be the more common way of doing it for a lot of people. So you can see upgrade this PC now. That's no good to us. So we're going to create an installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. So put the radio button in this one here and we can then move on to the next step. Click next. You can uh, use the recommended options for this PC if you're installing it on the same PC. I like to remove that. Just give me options for other machines as well. Now you can see here, if you've got a USB flash drive of eight gigabytes or more, you can create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it and install that operating system from that USB flash drive. Or you can go and download the ISO file and mount it and install it this way. So let me go ahead and download this ISO file just to show you here. Just gonna name it Windows 10 here because I've got a bunch of them here. And we're going to save this and it will start downloading the latest version from Microsoft's website. So just let that download and uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. In the meantime, I'm just going to go to the start button and go settings. And then from here, I'm going to go down to activation. Now on this machine, you can see it is activated. And this means that when we roll back, it should be activated on Windows 10 as well. You can see I'm using Windows 11 Pro. So we will have Windows 10 Pro when we roll back. Now, if you're not activated and you need a license key, you can check out the links in the video description and head over to CD Key Sales. Create yourself an account and click on Windows 10 Pro OEM. You'll see we can now buy this key and this will activate our version of Windows 10 Pro. If you have a Windows 10 Home and you want to install Windows 10 Pro, you can do that as well and buy this key and activate it when you do a fresh install. Create yourself an account. Once you're happy, click on the buy now button. And all you need to do then is use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and this will give you a 30% discount. So all you need to do here is add the promo code, capital B, capital R, 09 in the box here and apply this to your order. You can also use this one here, which is, says my code. Make sure it's got my code in there. Otherwise, you won't get the 30% discount. Apply this to your order and you should get a massive discount here of 30%. Submit your order and use PayPal to pay for your key. They will send that to your account. You can then use this to activate your version of Windows 10 Pro when you've reinstalled it. So let's head back to our desktop here where I downloaded the ISO file for Windows 10. We can click on it and then click on mount and this will open up a folder where we'll have setup.exe in here. Click on the setup.exe and this will open up 
the actual application here, you should see Windows is now opening up and it should say install Windows 10. So you can see it's going to go online and get the latest updates and drivers and other features available to us. So let that go and do its thing by clicking next. And it's going to go ahead and check for updates. If it needs to restart the program, it will do. So just let it go and do its thing here. It's just going to go and get some updates. And it's saying restarting the Windows 10 setup because it wants to do some things here. Let it go ahead and do that. And it's going to say getting a few more things ready. And now we should see the terms conditions. Click next and choose what to keep. And as you can see, you can't keep anything. So Microsoft give you 10 days basically to choose whether you want to stay with Windows 11 or whether you want to go back to Windows 10. If you don't extend that period to 30 days, then you're going to end up with this situation here where you can't keep anything. And this is going to go off and delete all of your files, applications, and your settings. So make sure you make a backup of all your data before you click next. Otherwise, you're going to end up losing all of your data on that machine. Once you click next, it's going to completely erase everything on the drive and reinstall Windows 10 Pro on the system. So let's go ahead and click next. And you should see, do you want to continue using this uh, selection? If you say yes here, this will start the process. And it's then going to start to reinstall Windows 10 Pro onto your system. So once you click yes, this will start the process and Windows will take care of everything, completely erase the system and reinstall Windows 10 Pro on your system or Windows 10 Home or whatever version of Windows that you have right now. And that is pretty much it. So if you need a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, the links will be in the video description to activate your product. Also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.